Hello and welcome to another video. So here's the Vivo V9. I will be making several videos on this uh, Vivo V9. Please stay tuned uh, because I've uh, been testing this for a while now and uh, I'm quite disappointed with the way they have implemented the FunTouch OS uh, which is based on Android 8.1. Now there are a uh, few things that I really liked about but that is that will be in another video. But in this video I just wanted to uh, give you a walkthrough of what are the features that I think are really important and are missing in the vivo v9 before could have implemented that really well so when i just uh, logged into the device and for the very first time when i booted into the device there was a system update available so i had to update the system so after that several features were introduced by vivo which is uh, really always appreciated now let's look at the cons or say disadvantages that I am disappointed with uh, this vivo v9 device so the first thing is the display brightness Yes, of course, you would uh, say that the uh, whatever you see here is really bright and uh, nice. Of course, it is. But uh, when you take it to the outside outdoor uh, to direct sunlight, I was really disappointed with the uh, brightness available on this uh, uh, display. So it is not so much bright that you, you can actually watch the videos properly or say your pictures. Uh, so that's one uh, disappointing thing I, I wish because of this beautiful gorgeous display i wish they had given you an extra brightness of nits so that it would be very pleasing to view so that is missing on this vivo v9 the first feature that i wanted to talk about the second thing is that not all apps support 19 is to 9 aspect ratio all the apps that are available i think most of the apps i would say are 16 is to 9 aspect ratio they are made for 16 is to 9 aspect ratio and recently they have been updating for the 8 is to 9 aspect ratio and uh, this vivo phone here has 19 is to 9 aspect ratio that means it is super extra wide so not uh, all the apps support that for example if i open the youtube app here as you can see there are there is a very very prominent black bars on both the side so this is what i really don't like because you are uh, buying this such a huge display phone for the media consumption media content giving pleasure but as you can see there bar is quite prominent you cannot pinch zoom like in the xiaomi phones uh, there they have implemented really well so that you can enjoy the real estate screen real estate very nicely but that is not the case in the vivo v9 i thought after the update they would uh, have released that but that's not the case over here as you can see even the apps while running does not utilize the 19 is to 9 aspect ratio that's a very disappointing thing the next thing I wanted to talk about is the camera settings. Now, of course, Vivo is very famous for its camera and music. That is what they claim. But uh, if you just open the application here, they have given a pleiotra of settings that we will be looking in another video. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. But here in this video, I wanted to talk about the cons of this camera. So there are important features that are missing. For example, say that you want to meter the frame over here. So what I do usually is to find a setting that has a metering over it so you can center away the metering or you can spot use spot metering or uh, matrix metering that is uh, available on most of the uh, pro level cameras uh, uh, camera smartphones but here in vivo what they have done is you have to uh, hold like this so that there is one circle over here you can drag and focus and it will automatically frame it for you and it will automatically uh, meter the frame or the picture you can say so that is a disappointing thing because i wanted to decide on what uh, subject has to be uh, used for metering for example uh, if you are capturing flowers you would use the spot metering that way the background blur will be uh, very nice and prominent so that you get beautiful flower pictures so that way i would have metered uh, on with my own style but here you cannot do that there is no separate metering method available here that's a disappointing thing as well the another uh, important thing that i wanted to talk about is the settings as you can see there is only one setting for the camera option here uh, wherein you will select normal full and square there is absolutely no setting to change the resolution or say the image size of the picture so that's another disappointing thing they have just given you three different modes to select for example if you buy any other smartphones you have the option to select the uh, image size for 8 megapixel say 9 megapixel you that way you will be knowing that you are capturing the picture in particular resolution so that would have helped a lot and it is not available on this camera the other uh, setting that I want to talk about is in the camera itself. There is a slow mode here actually. 
as you can see that you can actually capture slow motion videos uh, but the disappointing thing is that it captures at only 480 pixels of resolution so that is uh, another disappointing thing that i thought i just captured a random video to show you how blurry and uh, not so good looking it is so this is the 480 pixels video that i shot i think it captures at around 120 frames per second not quite sure yet uh, but uh, the disappointing thing is the resolution there so that's another disappointing from uh, vivo the another thing that i wanted to talk about is the customization factor see there is a lot of uh, bloatware software installed by vivo here which we often don't use for example you don't often use the vivo.com to do that you can just uh, uh, go to the home or internet browser and you just type the vivo.com and you can uh, log in from there but they have given separate vivo.com as a website uh, as an application there is a v app store which is uh, again a bloatware there is a, uh, such applications are very prominent uh, inside this uh, vivo and they have not given you any way to customize this uh, home screen grid which is really disappointing say you want to make it a five cross five grid you cannot do that again you have to install the third party application so that way that thing i did not like particularly and also about the changing of uh, several things in the home screen uh, for example if you just tap and hold there could be several options for you uh, but that is not available quick toggles are not available you have to again go here and stick to the standard quick toggles so these are several little things that are uh, not implemented very good in my opinion and the another thing that i wanted to point about is the calculator see for a lot of people calculator is really important they use it as a quick method to calculate things but in vivo they have not implemented really good there is only one standard application and standard calculator app and you have this scientific calculator app and uh, that's about it but uh, if you look at the xiaomi phones they have given you really nice application which is really useful and a lot of uh, people would appreciate it so that's how it has to be implemented just uh, taking a look at the xiaomi's uh, redmi note 5 as you uh, can see this is a calculator app uh, very simple uh, simply laid out but if you just tap on this grid here you get uh, way, uh, way, way better options uh, uh, for your calculation for example you can uh, live uh, see the currency exchange rate you can live calculate the length area you can measure the temperature and whatnot so all these settings are available on this uh, xiaomi's calculator option here but that's not available on the vivo for a 23,000 rupees phone i would expect them to implement it properly and very nicely so all that things are missing here i hope you agree with it what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section down below and are you purchasing this vivo are you considering this seriously and hope this video helped you make your purchase decision uh, see you all in the next video stay tuned guys i'll be making more useful videos on this channel so subscribe to my channel and hit that like button so see you all in the next video take care bye bye